This week, you'll learn how to manually calibrate your DSLR camera for proper white balance. Adorama TV presents DSLR Video Skills, where you'll learn all about photography and videography. Here's your host, Rich Harrington. Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this episode of DSLR Video Skills, brought to you by Adorama. Today, we're going to talk about how we can properly white balance a camera. Now, if you're a still shooter, you're used to doing this often with a preset, an auto white balance. And while that works pretty well for stills, it can be problematic for video. You see, a lot of the preset modes change or automatically compensate. That's okay when you're shooting stills, but if you've got a moving subject, the last thing you want to see are changes over time. So let's break down the different options we have and show you how to take total control. One mode that a lot of people use is auto white balance, AWB. This works, except the problem is, is the camera will adjust. Some cameras will do it while the camera's recording, others will do it with each shot. Well, why is that a big deal? What happens when a cloud moves through the scene? Or little changes happen? In a situation like this where we're shooting indoors, probably not a problem to rely on auto, but if you have anything environmental, moving sun, light changing, clouds going through the scene, it's going to be a big problem. So I generally will get off of auto as quickly as possible. So this leads presets. And let's take a look at some of the built-in presets that the camera has. I'm just going to hold down the white balance button and start to cycle through these. And you see we've got a manual preset, which we'll talk about in a second. We're going through the ability to go ahead and dial in specific degrees Kelvin. And here's some of our other ones, like shade, clouds, flash, incandescent light, fluorescent light. And you see very different options. So I'm going to go ahead and get a manual white balance. And to do this, I like to use a calibration target. This is a small version that's designed to fit in the pocket. This is from PhotoVision. What I like about it is it actually has white, neutral gray, and black. And this will come in handy for post-production. I'm going to show you a little bit later on in the episode how I can calibrate after the fact in my editing software. But we can also do this within the DSLR camera itself. So Kevin's going to go ahead and step in and hold the target up. And on one side is white. And just flip over to the other. We'll use this side for now. And notice, I actually have the ability to go off that calibration target. Lower it in the frame just a bit. So if I don't want to second guess what I'm doing here, I could actually frame that up and then punch in on the camera and zoom in a bit. And this helps me check my focus. So notice, I can go ahead and manually focus or take advantage of the autofocus feature of the camera and it'll often lock in on that target. Now that I have that, go ahead and take your arm out of the frame, Kevin, so we just have the three color areas. Great. You'll notice that he's angling the reflector towards the primary light source. You don't want to put that right towards the camera. Rather, you want to go ahead and pick up a little bit of the light that you're using to light the scene. I'll go ahead and fire off a still. And you can go ahead and clear that. And this can be done before the subject comes into the shot as well. So I'm using a D800 here. The process of manually white balancing may vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, but the general idea is the same. You're going to fire off a still photo that you could reference for the white balance. Let's go into white balance there. And I've got presets selected, so I'll press menu. And I've gone ahead and already mapped this to my quick menu. I can manually choose a color temperature, or we can go ahead and actually select this. Notice when I change it, it says select image. So what I'll do here is it will go through all the photos I've recently shot. There's a recent one there, the last one we took for the white balance, and I'll select it. Press OK and I'll choose it. Once you've done this, it will use this to create an accurate white balance for the camera. You don't need to fill the entire frame with white. 
it's just a good idea to have a clean white in the image and as long as it fills up most of the frame, the camera will be intelligent and use that primarily for the white balance. The other advantage here of shooting the white, neutral gray, and black is that we could use that in post-production as well as a safety net. I'll go ahead here and choose fine tune and you see if necessary we could adjust the overall color temperature slightly. I'll choose OK and we'll just press menu to exit. And there is our preset white balance. So we've gone ahead and properly calibrated the camera. By giving it something that was black, white, and neutral gray, it was able to determine an accurate white balance. And this works really well because it's custom to our shooting situation. So as we have all these different lights here, it wasn't just one degree Kelvin. We were able to choose the correct color temperature and let the camera do the hard work for us. Now that we're ready to roll, I'll just do two things before I actually start the interview. So Kevin's gone ahead and held that calibration target in. I'll make sure I start to roll on my DSLR. And I'll roll a little bit of this calibration target. In a second, I'll show you how that works in post-production to properly white balance. Clear that out. He's now going to go ahead and hold up a passport color checker. There's lots of different ones of these out here, but I like to get this for reference because it gives you accurate color chips that you could use to check the color in the scene. That's great. And I'll go ahead and stop recording. And now we've got all that information ready for our project. Now, the post-production side is easy. You saw us earlier roll on that. All you're going to do is use the three-way color corrector in your nonlinear editing tool. Inside of that tool, you will find eyedroppers, black, white, and neutral gray, or midtones. Click on each swatch, and that will build a new preset for post-production. So there you have it. My name's Rich Harrington. Thanks for watching this episode of DSLR Video Skills. And as you see, taking the time to properly white balance your camera is going to improve the overall look of the image you capture. Be sure to head on over to Adorama. And while you're there in the Learning Center, there's a bunch of tutorials and great video tips that you could check out to raise the overall production for your next video project. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.